Hey everybody, it's Jace, man. I'm with the Metal Grenade Magazine Association with the Four Horsemen Media. And again, you see where I'm at. Porto Potty. And I'm with my boy from The Color Morale. How's it going? Never done an interview in a shitter before. This Tell me what your name is so they all know. The my name is Garrett from The Color Morale. There you go. And I just saw these guys at Louder Life here in Louisville, Kentucky. And man, they just tore it up. I didn't know much about you guys actually when I was coming into this. And so I got to catch your guys set. And it was really fucking good, man. So, I uh, kudos to that, man. I know Thank you had a little mic problem. They didn't have your your shit like uh, going very well. At yeah, first, I think so. they a uh, couple like half a minute into a song or something forgot to turn the front of us mic on, which it took it's a long enough festival. too, man. Like almost a whole song. Yeah, or yeah, it's a chaotic festival. And so. you know, I, I was a singer once before, so I know how it is sometimes, man. When you're when you don't have anything to hear, you're pushing extra hard to hear yourself over the band, and so you know, you couldn't see to blow your voice out, stuff like that. So how do you maybe uh? protect yourself or get conditioned for doing stuff like a big tour or something like that? I think for me, uh, all the years of doing it and learning how to do it the right way, you know, uh, I spend a lot of time at our merch table and hanging out with people and, and you know, I don't go sit in a room somewhere until we play. I'm out in a show talking and yelling over people. So I think over the years it kind of strengthens your voice and, you know, just, uh, I don't know, I just drink a lot of water and try to sleep eight to ten hours, which never happens. I, I, I noticed you guys had some babies on side stage. Whose babies are those? Um, I know there's a bunch of people on side stage. Yeah, I didn't know if that was uh, one of you guys' kids or something. I that think was, that was our booking agent's twins, actually. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. I didn't know if it was you guys. I was like, that's yeah. really cool, you know. Their the little earmuffs up there. Yeah, that was really, really cool. Yeah. So, um, uh, what guys, what you guys going on? Are you recording anything? or? or? We're actually, uh, we're out with a band called Nothing More right now. Oh, yeah, I love um, those guys. Y'all are going to be coming through Memphis next week? Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. be there, man. It's, uh, that ends... Uh, about 10 days from now, and then we start a tour with Motionless and White and Devil Wars Prada. Great, man. No, Chris is a great guy, too, month. man. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's, so y'all, when's the last album y'all had come out? Y'all had an album that uh, come yeah, out? What was we, the name uh, of that album? We released an album called Hold On, Pain Ends on right. uh, Fearless Records. It's been out for about a year now. I know Kerrang! Uh, magazine said that you guys were like one of the most awesome records they'd heard of the year or something one time I yeah, read it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was really cool. Uh, but like I said, I'd caught you guys today. Never seen you guys really. I've only heard you just a little bit. And you know, it's hard to keep up with a lot of bands. There, there's a lot of great bands out there today. And so I'm glad I caught your guys. Yeah, your set, and I'm glad they got your mic so, you know. I was happy. Everybody came out early and crowd surfing and, you know, singing along and moshing and yeah, it was, it was cool to be the one of the early bands. It's kind of your job to, to set the energy for the day. So I feel like we, we did a good job. Man, what's been the probably the, the biggest uh, accomplishment you think in your life that you've uh, accomplished? Man, I think I think just uh, going through the things I've gone through in life and, and channeling that and using it to, to do a better good for somebody through music. I think it's uh, something I get to go through every day and, and relive every day, a really lucky position. Who do you respect more than anyone? As far, um, you know, as far as we say the music world, the music world I have a lot of respect for bands like Let Live, uh, any band, band that, that swims against the current and does what they want to, and uh, you know, really stays honest to what they say and how they say it. Okay, all right, last one, man. So you guys, hot uh, porta potty. It's didn't really sink that bad though, but uh, it's really not as bad. It's as not as bad. Well, <laughs> it's in the backstage when you don't have a thousand <laughs> people going in the same right. way. Um, Mount Rushmore bands. Bands. What of your bands that you grew up maybe listening to? What's your Mount Rushmore? Oh, my Mount Man. It depends on the on the time of my life. I think overall it's been Pantera and it's been Jimmy World. Well, there we go. Drop it. Jimmy World and Pantera. Yeah. That's a big difference. Right there. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you know one of the first metal bands I ever found was uh, Pantera back in the day, and and I kind of wanted to emulate Phil and and you know um, Jimmy World when I found them. It's probably four or five years later. That was. Uh, was a, an authenticity and a raw sound in that band that I connected to, and I think they're also the band that kind of taught me how to transition into a bigger, more, uh, more broad sound and more, uh, more radio-friendly sound. I don't want to say radio-friendly, more like a just a. Pantera did kind of break the mold of, of like metal bands not getting on the radio. They actually got on the radio. Yeah, you know, yeah. So that was cool, and they were a great band, man. They had so many different elements, like groove and and you know. The uh, hardcore stuff, along with just metal, and it was just a great band, yeah. man. You know, so. But anyway, I'm not gonna take up any more of your time, no, and we'll uh, get out of here. And uh, Metal Grenade Magazine and Color Morale, you can catch them when they're out, touring around with nothing more. All right, peace. Thanks, guys.